Water management is managing the ratio of water and air in each soil type to suit the cultivated crop. A good balance between soil water and soil air will ensure a healthy plant with a good root system. Good water management is a key factor in vegetable production. Realize that most parts of harvested vegetables contain more than 90% water Underwatering will have a direct impact on the yield, while overwatering but also underwatering could have an effect on plant health and economics. Too much water can lead to anaerobic conditions in the soil which will cause rotting of roots. Too infrequent watering with sudden high volumes can lead to fruit cracking. The need for water changes with the stage of the crops, so do the critical periods. In general, transplanting, flowering, and fruiting stages are critical periods where optimum irrigation is needed. If possible, keep the root zone moist at all stages to be safe. Ideally, it is better to water the plant early morning when the temperature is at the lowest to prevent water losses. It also ensures that water is available for the plant when the demand increases during the day. There are different ways to check the soil moisture for the crops. If there is a sampling pipe or auger, take a soil sample by pushing or drilling this tool in the soil. If you do not have a tool like this, dig a little hole next to the plant and collect some soil there. The soil should feel moist, not wet. Take the soil in your hands and with loam or clay soil, try to form a ball or to make a ribbon. With sand soil, it should feel moist. If this is not possible, the water level is too low and irrigation is necessary. In case you can squeeze out water, it means the irrigation was too much. Different soil types will retain water differently. The sandier a soil is, the lower the water retention of this soil is. With a sandy soil, it will be difficult to make a ball but by kneading the soil in the hand, the hand will be wet. Checking soil moisture before irrigation is useful to manage the water in the soil. Farrow irrigation is the most commonly used irrigation practice. It is convenient and easy to maintain. It needs a minimal investment. To get a uniform irrigation leveling of the field during land preparation is key. Avoid water logging and flooding. Ferro irrigation consumes a lot of water. It is not easy to estimate and do light irrigation at early stage and harvesting. With ferro irrigation, it is also important to consider the ferro length or sections that you water at one action. On clay soils, length of ferrous can be longer than on sandy soils. Hand watering with watering cans is done by many small holder farmers. It delivers water directly to the plants. If the source of the water is close by and easy to access, it is an advantage. It also minimizes loss of water from runoff. This method is quite laborious and is only recommended for small plots. On large plots, the risk is that not enough water can be applied per event. Drip irrigation may need high initial investment costs but when properly installed, it distributes uniformly water to the plants as per needs. It is the most efficient system for irrigation as it uses less water and less labor intensive. It needs high maintenance to function well. Emitters need to be cleaned regularly. Suitable design and proper installation is key.